Tasha. Welcome back to my channel, Divine Creations. And the other week, I did a tutorial on how to make a graduation fan. And today, I finished designing my daughter's graduation fan. And here it is. This is the photo. I printed on photo paper that I bought from Target. And I printed on print it using my ink jet printer and here is the back it's only gonna be one-sided I wrote class of 2018 with my gold glitter pen no not glitter pen my gold gold medium tip using my machine my machine writes very neat so why not so this will be the back this is the front, obviously, and this is the stick I'm using. I got this from Dollar Zone, one, the One Dollar Zone. And I'm going to put it together because I was not able to show how to put it together on the first tutorial. So I'm going to do that here. And all you would need is your hot glue gun should be ready. And I'm going to use my El Elmer's Craft Bond. Oh, sorry. And this is what I'm going to use to adhere it to each other. So first, I'm going to lay my stick. Let's make sure that this is right. All right, here we go. I'm just going to add some glue. And this hot glue gun was like four bucks for Michaels. This is my quick, easy to get to. Perfect. Just going to add a little bit of glue. And you want to come about three inches down from the top, right in the center. You definitely want to make sure it's centered. See? There you go. I'm just going to push it down some. Give it a moment. So now we're good. This is perfect. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hover this like inside my recycle bin and I'm going to spray. So that part will not be on camera. So as you see, it's sprayed. I'm just going to give it a moment so it can be prepared and I'm going to carefully line this up so that it fits perfectly right on top. And this is very sticky, so you wanna be very careful. Get it right the first time. See? Get it right the first time. And this fan is about eight and a half inches. Let me see. Oh, about eight inches wide. It's the front, there's the back. I will clean up the edges here because I had to cut this with two different machines because the Cricut Maker or any Cricut machine does not cut larger um, images. You would not be able to cut this size fan on a Cricut. You can make a smaller fan, that's up to you, but I wanted my fans to be a lot larger. So I had to use my brother's scan and cut to scan and cut the image, but I did use my Cricut to cut the back and write the letters. And it's very simple to go around the edges here and just get rid of the extra that's over. And I've three done so far. I have about 10 more to do. I just wanted to share that with everyone. Again, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified of my next video. Thank you.